Minecrafters. Guess what? It's Kimmy Say, and I'm back for another episode of Kimmy Say Craft. And I'm here. I'm here in the starter house. And you know what? You know what? You know what? I think it's moving day. Yep. Oh, yeah. We've been here since we started the series, and it's been good. But I'll be honest with you, I think it's time to move out because this street that we're building here. It has a house in the way. Yeah, it has a house in the way. The starter house, just not in the right thing. And if you're with us last episode, you know that we have actually went ahead and created our storage area, which honestly, I mean, that's the center of any base anyways, is a storage room. But I got a huge storage room going up here. I mean, we'll probably do some other things with it. Maybe make some piece of passages and everything. Like, check this out. I've got this really great entrance here. And we can probably make something go that way or whatever and everything. But it's time, guys. It's moving day. Oh, yeah. It's moving day. So what we got to do is we got to start figuring out what's going to go where. And start moving the contents of all our chests. Yes. All of our chests in here. And setting up a shulker box zone so that we could easily get our shoulder boxes. Now, if you watched last episode, you're saying, what's that in the center? I'm saying that's the slime. Let me show you some of the things we did in here. So what we did is we did some copper to decorate it. We went ahead and varied all of the patterns. Look, we have a new copper copper um, rooftop, and I want to show you what that's looking like because I'm really, really, really like it. And we've got this new slime center, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what it looks like up there. Ooh. And so when we get out of it, boom. Of course, we still got to finish tree farm, but hey, let's get back. Check it out. We got a copper dome. And um, I just went ahead and tried to dome it up as best as I can. I wanted it open in the center because maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'll have an easy entrance into my storage room that way. I went ahead and put some of the, um, the lightning rods there. And then as we come down, boom, we're in the middle of our base. That's why I put the slime there. Yeah, I've already missed it twice and died a couple times. That's why my XP is so low, because uh, I died, you know, hitting this from a really high height. You'd be surprised at how ch challenging it is to come down that hole and actually land here. Yeah, extremely much more challenging than I suspected it ever would be. But hey, I think it's pretty exciting. Okay, guys, so what we got to do is I got to start going ahead and um, laying everything out. Notice I've got myself a whole, I'll tell you what, a whole bunch of, I wonder if I should put them there or there. Anyways, I got a whole bunch of the, of, um, uh, 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 what are these things called again? Uh, item frames. So yes, item frames so that we can go ahead and start marking these this side's going to be more of my deep storage side so you know we're probably going to have quite a few labeled into these okay but i have made a whole bunch of these so that we can easily label our storage chest so we know what's what so that's what i'm that's what i'm doing right now i'm just going da 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 and i made like you know a stack and a half of these so we got we got plenty to go ahead and um organize as much as we can um, there's still a lot I don't have, right? Well, should I say? There's still a lot of things that we don't have. So I don't think we'll even come close to filling half these chests. But it's going to be nice to have them, especially for the deep storage stuff over on the on the um, left side for, like, their stone and things and get everything located in here. So this, this episode is going to be quite a bit of a utility episode. I do want to do some building, but um, first we're going to do some tearing down. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start organizing. I'm going to start pulling stuff in, you know, because we have a lot of work to do if we're going to get anywhere close to uh, getting this stuff moved in. So, guys, this is Kimmy Say. I'm going to get to work. Wait a second. There's stone, stone, stone. That's all stone. I'm just making sure. So that we can get all this stuff moved in. So, yeah, so I guess, um, there we go. The stone zone. Okay, guys. So I'm going to get to work, and I'll bring you guys back in as soon as I get some of this done. Catch, catch in a bit. Hey, guys. Kimmy say I'm back, and I can't believe you know I am like three hours into organizing stuff. I walked around, and these little alcoves turned out perfectly for like little things such as workstations and furnaces and 
um, all sorts of things. So I'll probably be building some more workstations, like yeah, Fletching one here. You know, eventually they're gonna give some functionality to the Fletcher and everything. But I went ahead and organized, kind of like what we talked about the other day. We got all of our stone and stuff over here. I went ahead and made this all ores, nether ores, whatever the norse. Or this is all like really deep slate stuff, some black stone, and over here some other dimension ores. And then we, then I've got lots of room here to put stuff like some redstone and things. Um, I'm going to do all my tree stuff starting here. So I start with the nether trees, and then we have our six kinds of tree stuff. And like I'll have like saplings, then I'll have blocks, and I'll have stuff. So that way it's easy to keep up. Leaves here, and then around the corner here I just start putting random stuff. Uh, mostly mob drops and plants and leaves, so it works in my head. These, these little boxes right here, we went ahead and just put different types of drops and tools that you don't really keep a whole lot around, or mostly just stuff that's sticking around. And over here I put like um, copper, lighting sources, chests. This is just like miscellaneous stuff built with wood, you know. Um, and I still got a lot of organizing. There's my light sources right there. But I'm liking it. I'm pr I'm liking it. The copper is starting to turn green. I'm really liking this green color. So I might like let all this copper turn green down here. Yeah, I think it could look pretty good. I think it would look really good with the wood and stuff. So we see what happens. Went ahead and started decorating. So I got all my heads up there. So as I get more heads, we'll just keep on adding them down here. I Back here, I went ahead. And these are all slabs, so nothing spawns on any of this. This is all entirely spawn proof in here. Went ahead and put a bed there and a clock so I could like get some sleep here in the corner, you know? Um, let's see here. Now, I was thinking about spawn proofing this area the same way that I did up here just by going slabs up. I haven't decided yet. That would mean and I would take all this layer up one and I kind of like it, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be a good idea or not, I'd like to hear. And the starter house is gone, guys. Clear it out. We are now ready to start building streets and roads. So that is going to be the next big thing we're going to be doing. We're going to go ahead and start building streets and roads. I also went in here into the farm because I've been like, oops, got to grab that slime, right? Um, I also went in here and um, in our farm area, I went ahead and got all those chests out now. All the chests are gone. So all we have is the functional things in here that we'll be using from time to time. So that looks, out, that looks pretty good. We'll need to make a more formal door or maybe another way in, okay, considering that we have this beyond the block, or maybe we can turn this into a secret door. I'm thinking that's going to be the thing, because this is all going to be a big wall all the way across anyways. So, I mean, I'm liking the ideas of the way this is going. Boy, the slime thing is really starting to kick in, so very good. What? More, more slime balls. Fantastic. Liking that. And so... Guys, this is going to be a short one today. I'll be honest with you. The only reason it's going to be short is because it took me forever to organize that. Now, the good news is, is all the extra chests I have over here, they're all gone. Check it out. No more chest monster there. I only have a little bit of a chest monster over here where we have um, the tree farm working. And now that I've got enough slime and everything, I'm going to have that tree farm up and running here ASAP. I'm actually really excited about the tree farm because that baby's going to come alive here. So what I'm going to do, guys, oops, let's go ahead and put this back in here. Oh, no. There we go. I've got a spot for that. So next project we're is going to be going ahead and getting our automatic tree farm. That was a cobble farm I made right there. Just a manual one, but it's pretty good, pretty easy. But unfortunately, guys, that's all I really have time, you know? Um... We are going to be doing a whole lot to this area to make it look more presentable so we can start building up, guys. So get ready. We got a ton of building episodes. But to get those building episodes up right, you got to do some infrastructure. And that's what tonight was all about. So thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us, guys. Don't forget to hit our like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to, join our Patreon, guys. We've got plenty of room on the server for any, for any Patreon, Patreon players who want to enjoy and have fun with us on the server.